For those who think the foreign born one named permanent A-list singer is going to release new music and go on tour, all you have to do is look at the one-off performance. She is done with it all, which is about Rihanna. And I'm not trying to come for Rihanna, I love Rihanna, but people are not happy with this performance, even though she's probably happy because she's cashing out. Now, I'm not expecting her to put out any music. I mean, that hope died a long time ago. Actually, we don't have our, um, look at my hair. We do not have our blind item bucket hat on. I feel like I've worn, worn this um, hat every time we've done a blind item breakdown. So this is like my blind item bucket hat. Is that? Okay, there we go. Anyways, she hasn't been on tour. She's been like pregnant, like having kids with ASAP Rocky. Honestly, I wasn't even sure like, is she pregnant right now? I can't keep up with her. This person wrote, she's married and she has two kids. No one expects her to go on tour at this time. Her fans would breathe a sigh of relief if she released the album she promised and retired for good. A lot of people were criticizing her performance quality, saying that she wasn't up to par. This person wrote, she hasn't been on stage for a while and she has two small children. Cut her some slack. She She's got other things to focus on, which I agree. She's got an empire, but didn't she do the Super Bowl? Like, I don't know, not that long ago because I've been in LA for like, it's going to be like two years. So was it the year before or the year before that? This person wrote, Rihanna is a hit maker, but not really a great performer, but her vocals, I love it. I also love her interaction with fans. Despite her not needing the money and having her family, she is still out here on stage and people are questioning from the footage, like, Rihanna, do you still have it in you? Which I think she does. I mean, she probably, again, like, it takes a lot of practice to put on a show like what Beyonce and Taylor Swift have done recently. So, you know, I acknowledge she hasn't been touring for a while. I think a big part of it was the lack of movement and the fact that she was paid like at least six billion dollars i've seen a lot of different numbers the lowest is six million so at least six million to perform at this pre-celebration for a wedding i'm here tonight in honor of anat araraki thank you for having me here god bless your union imagine having enough money that you can have rihanna come to your wedding pre-party and perform i wish you all the best congratulations okay this article reads that rihanna is ripped for a lazy performance at indian billionaires bash despite being paid six million dollars quote she's a scammer oh my gosh they are coming for rihanna this one reads haters say she didn't work 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 rihanna has been panned lazy and boring for her performance at a pre-wedding bash for an indian billionaire she took to the stage for 90 minutes and she performed in front of some of the world's richest and most powerful people including bill gates mark zuckerberg ivanka trump was there <laughs> Okay. One person wrote on Twitter that Rihanna just doesn't give an F. Ri is the laziest performer ever. Oh my gosh. Even Taylor Swift brings more energy. Someone else wrote, she got that coin and said, F y'all, I'm gonna do what I can. Here are some clips of her performing at the show. And you guys tell me if it's worth $6 million. There's a lot to unpack in this next blind item. The thing is, the former A-list rapper just can't get his girlfriend to do the things in public he can get his wife to do. So she'll always just be someone on the side who loves being with the rapper because her social media boyfriend isn't famous enough and she has also complained about his size down there. Plus, she wants a new BBL and he won't pay for it, but the rapper will. This is about Kanye West, his alleged girlfriend, Michaela and his wife, Bianca, of course, and then Bryce Hall, who is dating Michaela. So Bryce is dating Michaela, but they share Michaela, like Kanye and Bryce share Michaela. According to this item, there's so much to unpack, like I said. This person commented, TikToker Bryce Hall's girlfriend, Michaela, showed a DM with Kanye asking if she wants to hang out and listen to his album. I wonder if him and his wife, Bianca, are into three ways. I kind of feel like they may be, and he was scouting for them. Another person added that Kanye uses women as showpieces. He lives vicariously through them. This person added that he collects showpieces to impress other dudes and attract them to him. He's way more interested in the dudes for some reason. Oh my gosh, I mean, I, I didn't Does Kanye play? I mean, I mm, I've heard some rumors, but I've also promised some friends and I've seen some things and if, if they've seen this, I, you know, I'm not going to get them in trouble, but 
I've heard Kanye's into a lot of different things. No shame to that, but uh, Bryce Hall actually exposed this whole interaction that Kanye was trying to scout out his girlfriend, Michaela. Maybe, you know, Kanye would pay for the BBL that Bryce Hall can't afford. Now, Bryce has shared these screenshots of Kanye messaging his girlfriend through Instagram, and he shared these on X. I want to say Twitter, but I guess we need to adjust. It's called X nowadays. And you can see that Kanye asked Michaela, are you back in Cali? And she says, what? He says, are you in California or the States? She says, yes, why? He said, wanted to see if you wanted to hang and listen to the new album, which how old is Kanye? How old is Michaela? Like, why is he like, why does he want to hang with this like 20 something year old TikTok girlfriend? I mean, are they really like, do they have a thing on the low? Like this blind item is suggesting she humbled him saying, uh, nope, thank you, though. <laughs> which uh, he unsent his messages, which shows that he did not want the world to see this, but Michaela knows what she's doing and she screenshotted before that. Bryce Hall wrote, Kanye is sliding on my girlfriend, someone tell Kim. It doesn't seem like Bryce Hall is too hung up on it. He asked Kanye, like, why didn't you invite me to the listening session? But I have a feeling I know why he would not have invited you and Michaela instead. Bryce Hall and his girlfriend have now both posted that Kanye slid into her DMs. I am so curious if the screenshot they posted is real. Now, on the one hand, this is Kanye, so I could see it being true just because it, it's Kanye, and you can never really be surprised by anything he does. But on the other hand, it's Bryce Hall. And there were people in the comments saying, this isn't weird, like, even though he's married, he likes to have girls come to the studio and listen to his album. And also, since it's Kanye, I also wouldn't be surprised if he responded to Bryce and let us know if this was real or not. Either way, it's got us talking about it, so that's probably what he wanted. Now, if you guys thought that was messy, let's get even messier because we're talking about bad baby. Wait until the eight minus list celebrity who now gets naked for a living. Oh my gosh. Discovers, I mean, slay, uh, discovers that her boyfriend slash baby daddy is also sleeping with one of her friends from the dinner the other night. So I saw this video and I was like, oh my gosh. It's giving Dr. Phil. It's giving all that messiness because she's at a restaurant in West Hollywood. I thought we were trying to be proper out here, and they were fighting it out. It looked like a Zeus Network production, but it wasn't, and Danielle is very much pregnant. So when I see, like, fighting and violence around a pregnant woman, like, that just is, you know, scary, no matter who's involved. Now, Bad Baby allegedly got into it with her boyfriend slash baby daddy, Livon, which led to a full-on brawl. If you guys don't know who Bad Baby is, her name is Danielle Bergoli. She was featured on Dr. Phil back in 2016, and then she got a record label. She made a bunch of hits a bunch of money she made a ton of money on only fans so now she's just living rich and i don't i think she's gotten into acting i don't really know what she's doing but the cash me outside girl pregnancy isn't stopping bad baby from her ways because she reportedly got into it with her boyfriend which got a bit physical they were at toca madria which i know exactly where that is it's a nice restaurant it's a very dim the music is usually a little bit too loud for my liking because i want to like talk to the people i'm with but the rapper was heard arguing with the father of her unborn child while they were trying to enjoy their dinner together i've heard other people say that there were like fans filming her and they fought the fans so there are some mixed reports here but following bad baby slapping her baby daddy a full-on brawl broke out between the rapper's entourage and another table while there's no evidence of bad baby getting involved in the worst of it it's unclear whether she was the reason why the fight unfolded <laughs> I told you the music is way too loud. And also they were definitely arguing in the beginning. So uh, the fight did not like start because of the filming. They were definitely fighting because I was under the impression someone was filming them and annoying them and she was just trying to have a nice dinner. But no, she was already screaming in his face. So they had been fighting and then this person was recording it as they should. I mean, if anyone's just like, I feel like if anyone's starting to fight like this in public, anyone has the right to record whether they're famous or not because this is like public indecency. <laughs> I would be the person like bring the check bring the check like i cannot actually i would probably i'm like a you know there's fight or flight i'm the flight i'm sorry guys but i am flying away as fast as i can
Yeah. Yeah. So it's clearly a fight between her and her man, and she's just going off. I don't even think she's. They're really saying anything of substance at this point. It's just like screaming at each other. <laughs> At the end of the fight, Bad Baby ironically got up from her seat with her baby daddy and left the dining location as calmly as can be. She has not yet commented on that situation, but it definitely is a major red flag for a very pregnant woman to be in that type of stressful like environment where she is yelling. And while I'd like to say that was the worst of it that we've seen, I've got one more clip I need to play for you guys because it really looks like it gets physical when other tables get involved. Because I feel like that first view that we just reacted to together, that was some people like sitting on a side recording. Well, then, you know, that entourage realized that they were recording this fight between Bad Baby and her man. So that's when everything just exploded. And I, again, I would have already flown out of there five minutes before this happened. So watch this hot mess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this person wrote, a baby from these two is not what the future needs. Someone else wrote, I hope the kid turns out better than she did. Oh, they're going harsh on bad baby. What a mess. I feel for the child. Oh my gosh, the baby's not even born yet. 99% of normal people have never had a physical altercation in their lives, let alone in a public restaurant. If you slap the father of your child, you should should probably not be having a child with that said person which i agree i i mean domestic violence like if this was uh if he slapped her everyone would be like freaking out over it i don't think we saw the slap caught on camera but um yeah no domestic violence allowed like either you know female to male or me to male to female it doesn't matter it's just not okay now this is weird this involves joe jonas who <laughs> Joe Jonas, I'm sorry, he can't get a break. I mean, after the Sophie Turner mess, your boy just cannot stay out of the gossip, but he's now dating Stormy Bree, and this is kind of focused on Stormy Bree and her relationship with model Lucky Blue Smith. They're both models, they share a daughter named Gravity together. Um, anyways, let's read this item. Several years ago, while his current girlfriend was having intercourse with an underage boy it also appears that the illiterate singer was also hooking up with her which they would really like to remain a secret have they been together this entire time so they're talking about stormy and joe jonas having an intimate relationship when they both had their respective partners and the fact that stormy was with lucky who is you know much younger i mean not much younger but he was a minor when they were together and she was like 26. these two are models and they are very successful models both stormy and lucky blue but they are also very private people so we didn't actually learn about their relationship for a long time people were speculating on the internet but it wasn't until we found out that she was expecting a child which again they named gravity we've talked about that before i don't think it's the best name choice I, 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 yeah, I'm not into it. Comment below. I mean, gravity, especially because like, I don't know. I just, I just go to thinking about like weight issues. Like imagine if like I was struggling with my weight and my name was gravity. I'm just like, geez, you can call me grav, I guess. Or like gravel. I don't know. But um, they were going to have a baby and, you know, Lucky was going to be a father at like 18 years old. When they started dating, Stormy was 26 and he was 17. Then at 27, she gave birth to their daughter when he was 18 years old. This person asked that maybe they aren't like famous enough to have caused a scandal around this. But isn't it weird that like, you know, someone in their mid 20s is dating someone who's a minor and now pregnant by them. Now, I always see Lucky Blue on TikTok because his wife is always cooking him a ton of food. They have children together. They seem like a happy family. He's now um, grown up a bit since this first relationship, but this relationship probably forced him to grow up very quickly. I mean, he had a kid at 18. He couldn't even enjoy alcohol yet. This person wrote, wow, I did not know this. I figured they were the same age. He's married to another woman now, and they have two kids together. Another person added, God, I totally forgot about this. I also didn't realize they had such a weird age gap or that he was so, so young at the time. I remember being surprised because he was hovering around the cusp of being the new big heartthrob, but but then he started to drop off, which I kind of get that because I remember he kind of was giving like 
uh, Jacob Alordi. I must have Jason Alordi. Who am I? Um, Jacob Alordi like vibes, and then he did drop off because he became a father at eighteen. I just need someone to help me make this make sense. I just I don't I don't get it. Another edition of you think you're looking at a super cute, super fashionable couple. My God, they are good looking though. Wow. But really, it's a 19-year-old kid and a 26-year-old woman that had a child together at these ages. 19 and 26. What do you talk about? What do you have in common, Stormy? Now, I'm just saying if these genders were reversed, I feel like people would have been talking about this one. But that's just my opinion. Speaking of Rihanna, some people are also calling out Adele, saying that she is scamming people. Not our good Adele. She was great when I saw her in Vegas. Truly one of the best performances I've ever seen. This one named singer is worried about spending time away from her significant other. That is why she always causes these cancellations. Plus, she doesn't want to give any refunds. And this is about Adele and Rich Paul and, you know... Adele claiming that she's got this illness, yet she just wants to be with her man. This person is going hard on Adele, writing, by the time she realizes how stupid she is, it will be too late. Another person wrote, wasn't Adele supposed to be pregnant or was that flushed? So what's her latest problem? Drinking again? Jealous of Taylor Swift? Can't keep a man? Weep, weep. Oh my gosh, you guys are not giving Adele a break. I might be, I maybe I'm a little too soft on this one. <gasps> Because I don't know if I agree. Adele just canceled five weekends because she's sick. Dot, dot, dot. With jealousy, please. I cannot. Not our good girl Adele. There's nothing to be jealous of. But she does have issues with love. I mean, granted, the music we love and listen to, like, we can relate. Like, she, she's a hopeless romantic. I can get it. I relate. People are really just calling Adele on her BS because this isn't the first time she's canceled before and she doesn't give refunds. And it's like, it is giving a little bit of a cash grab. I mean, I went to her show. She performed. She was great. But I would be really disappointed going to Vegas and planning this whole trip. And she's canceling these five weekends. And, you know, if she's ill, please get better. But uh, people aren't buying it. No, because the way I was so looking forward to seeing Adele on my actual birthday, I got these tickets, got my hotel, my flights, and now it's postponed, and I can't go. And don't get me wrong, like, I really hope she's okay, and I wish her all the best, but I'm so disappointed. This was supposed to be my birthday show, and I can't go. So I'm very grateful that it is postponed because you know I'll still be going. But I'm just so sad. It was supposed to be my birthday. It was my birthday show. Now I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have that whole weekend free. Adele writes, sadly, I have to take a pause on my residency. I was sick at the end of the last leg and all the way through my break, and I haven't gotten the chance to gain full health. So she's going to go ahead and um, take a break because she claims that the sickness is taking a toll on her voice, which I can't imagine being a singer and singing the way that she does. So um, maybe it's, you know, vocal nodules or something along those lines. She says, I have no choice but to rest thoroughly. The remaining five weekends of this leg are postponed to a later date, and she's working out the details. So it's not like you can get a refund. You just have to be available whenever she schedules your next show. She was supposed to kick off her residency back in January 2022, but one day before it began, she revealed she had to postpone because of COVID and delays on production. That July, she announced rescheduled shows. Then she was slated to begin in November and run through March 2023. We do wish Adele well wishes if she's not feeling well, and she gave everyone a little outro telling them that this will be the last show she'll be performing on this leg of her residency. Residency, which if you do get the opportunity to go, um, you know, you, you won't start. <laughs> It's not certain that you will see her because she may cancel. She's known to do that, but it is really worth it. And I know that some of you might be fair, and I'm not saying you only came here necessarily for this. I'm sure you've built a whole itinerary around that. <laughs> but it's such a big ask, and I just want you to know how grateful I am, and that I'm aware of how much of an ask it is. I love this show so much. 
people are not having it on social media. This person wrote, Adele, this has become a norm. Not finishing your shows. Do better. If you don't like doing plenty of shows, then stop doing them. Maybe Adele doesn't like performing. Maybe she's got some issues at home. Maybe she needs to relax. Give her a break, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this blind item breakdown video. I think we're at our fifth are we on our fifth one? Are we still enjoying it? Do you guys still like having these on Thursdays? I want to hear your input. We've got other ideas coming. We've got creative juices flowing. I'm excited. I've got a Tam. 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 I've got a Tam. A Tammy from Miami. Yeah, I look really tan. I'm actually looking really orange. Got to stay inside the next few days. But um, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.